Hi, Royal Ones. This is Miss Gigi coming back at you again with another juicy episode. Let's continue our President's Day contribution to President Barack Obama. Um, this is number 125. We're getting right along on this list. Um, Obama protected the rights of gay people. He was the first president to ever do so. And I believe the reason why is because everyone else was shunned from embarrassing to do so because of it's it's not a popular subject um being gay but um uh so it's 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 like every other president they kind of shied away from that uh because of the uh America is a a strong male dominant driven society and seen as strong and robust and so the gay feminine male was, you know, or gay period is, you know, shined upon and was kind of swept up under the rug. So I, I and Obama addressed the, the topic head on and he had a change of heart because at one point he, he wasn't for it because we're a sure, Christian nation. And uh, but they're gay Christians. And so Obama addressed it properly. And so let's let's get straight into the ways that Obama addressed gay rights. Number 125, Obama signed and implemented the Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act, which made it a federal crime to assault anyone based on his or her sexual orientation or gender identity. Now, I, I, it was a lot of gays being attacked because of being gay. Um, and there was a nightclub attack in, or, in, I believe, Orlando or Miami. And so, which was really, really crazy. It was mind blowing. And it's like, why would you attack someone for their sexual, you know, orientation? So, um, it's nothing to do with you. It's, it's all a personal preference. And so, I thank him for that because I have a lot of friends that's, uh, I have a few friends that's LGBTQ. And so, um, I, I, I just think that that's just a personal choice and it's, it's different, but it's, it's not, um, something that you should impose upon someone's personal will or personal choice. So thank you, Obama, for, for addressing that and making it safe to be gay, safe to, safe to be gay. Well, that. Number 126, Obama oversaw and implemented the repel of the re reprehensible don't ask, don't tell policy. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that was, that's a lot that, um, uh, involved in that, but click the link below to learn more about, um, don't ask, don't tell policy. And that was also if from the military, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that stemmed from the military. And it, oh, and into uh, other uh, forms of employment, so private sector and public sector. So that was uh, really good because you can't keep secrets like that. You can't once you keep something inside of you, you it eats up your. You know you get sick. You you get depressed. You get all sorts of illnesses. Just holding stuff in and being afraid to express who you really are. That's that's insane. You know, like that's that's not healthy. So it's really a really good thing that gays started coming out of the closet because it's just, it's, it's just, it's just a lot, but you can't hold on to stuff like that inside. Um, number 127, Obama extended benefits to same-sex partners of federal employees. Wow, that, that's big because um, the laws didn't, like I said, the laws was just man and woman. And so now this extended to same-sex which is which 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 is um their family their family and um um same sex number number so that that made a lot of a lot important because that was a lot difficult to uh, insure them get them insurance and get them benefits if something would happen to the um the lover number 128 obama more openly appointed more openly gay officials than anyone in history like I said, this is a male-driven society and everyone was afraid to open up and express their sexual orientation. Number 129, Obama appointed the first openly transgender cabinet official in history. Wow. Number 130, 
Obama advocated that the United Nations adopt a policy supporting gay rights worldwide. Yep, that was very big because um, they're human beings and they, like I said, they choose to live this life. They made a choice and they should be free to express themselves and operate in their sexual orientation as, I, as they choose to. They're not imposing anything on anyone. It's just that they want to, they, they could choose to live their their right to live as they freely choose so, with whom they choose to freely live with. Um, number 131, as soon as the Supreme Court invalidated the Defense of Marriage Act, he moved to extend federal benefits to same-sex couples. Yep. Number 132, Obama issued an order requiring hospitals to allow visitation by same-sex couples. Yes, they are family. Your same-sex boyfriend, same-sex girlfriend is your family. So um, that's important. Your health and well-being is just as important. Number 131, um, Obama changed HUD rules to prohibit gender and sexual orientation based on discri based in discrimination in housing. Yeah, that was... Um, yeah, you can't get denied housing because you're gay. You can't get denied housing because of a certain gender, man or woman, and if you can't preference over that. So he made a, a lot life a lot easier to live. Give them places to stay because people wouldn't uh, rent to lesbians and gays. They wouldn't rent uh, apartments and housing. So that was that was real big to uh, openly pass that bill and addressing that. Number 134, Obama changed his mind and publicly expressed support for same-sex marriage. Wow, you can't help who you fall in love with. I mean, you know, man, fall in love with a man, a woman, fall in love with a woman. I know it's not politically correct as a Christian, but you know what? You love who you love, and that's how that is. So I'm glad he changed his mind because it's a lot of people that was lit. Like I said, you can't hold on to that stuff on the inside of you. you, you you're not going to, you know, that's, that's mind blowing. That changes your whole, oh my gosh, so many sicknesses and illnesses and disease are bred from holding stuff inside and being secret, living a secret life, uh, especially gay. That 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 is crazy. You cannot, that is depression and, and all type of, you know, like, like in, unstable mental health. And um, so I'm just so glad they openly came out and admit that they're gay so they can just live their life and be free to express themselves and be who they are, unencumbered, unbothered, you know, so that's, that's good. That's, that's very positive change. Society is different. Everyone is, you know, everyone is just. Loving who they love. So number 135, Obama issued a presidential memorandum reaffirming the rights of gay couples to make medical decisions for each other. There you go. There you have it. Yeah. Number 136, Obama appointed several prominent gay athletes and others and plans to show the U.S. government's commitment to gay rights to anti-gay Russia. There you go. Russia is going to be the opposition anyway. Russia is dangerous and unstable. We ain't even going to talk about Russia. We're just going to steamroll through what, what Russia do. They're just dangerous. They, they are different from the world. They want to be different from everybody. They're going to be anti-anything. Anybody is pro because Russia is powerful. Russia got weapons. Russia is just dangerous. They're just going to be who they are. We ain't even going to comment on dangerous Russia, but they're anti-gay Russia. Hey, okay. Number 137, Department of Agriculture promulgated new rules to better enforce non-discrimination when it comes to the USDA investigations and to extend non-discrimination to gender identity. Okay. Yeah, that's, that was a lot. Okay. Number 138, Obama banned all federal contractors from discrimination against gay workers. Yeah, when it comes to gay, that does need to be addressed on a broad span against all different sectors. So that's important. Uh, number 139, Obama preserved his campaign to turn gay marriage into marriage and won in the Supreme Court. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that um, they don't want to be known as gay marriage. They want to be married. 
but a man because of the the wording of marriage was a, a union between a man and a woman and then so um gay marriage is between two the same sex and so that's where that discrimination came in at that's where that confusion came in at and so um okay um that was very that was a very big um uh, address for obama to address these issues and he's um this is the 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 boilerplate for moving forward for any other president in the united states to address the gay issues this is uh, an example set the obama set the example because he's the first president moving forward so that was very important and for all of us who has gay friends that we truly adore and love and we can dwell with them peacefully and um and and not get hurt because like i said they was getting attacked for being gay and so when they're with their out with their friends and families and loved ones they will get attacked as well so thank you for just making it safe for gays to you know dwell in the united states and be seen as you know humans and not you know some sort of way so obama did really really good with this uh, with this um the set of rules here all right royal ones tell me what you think let's have this conversation do you have an lgbtq friend family member or lover or are you a lesbian or gay and how has um these laws that obama passed ha uh, impacted your life and has it gotten any better or are you experiencing any discrimination or anything because you're choosing to live as lesbian, gay, or transgender, or bisexual, or Q, let me know what's going on. Let's have this conversation. LGBTQ YouTube. All right, Royal Ones, meet me in the comment section. Share this video and please um, sign my petition on change.org. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Royal Ones, LGBTQ. Bye.